Hey yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to your WWE SmackDown results and spoiler video. This is for Thursday, June 2nd, 2016. Before we get into the results of the show, if you are new to my channel, I do WWE news and also WWE 2K17 news. So to keep updated throughout the week, subscribe. But anyways, like always, in a very quick fashion, let's get right to it. This SmackDown taping was held at BMO Harry's Bank Center in Rockford, Illinois. We only had a two preview for the show and that is is that Charlotte will be facing Becky Lynch and that the club will be appearing in the show. But anyways, the show started off with WWE Tag Team Champions The New Day kicking off this week's SmackDown. They are quickly interrupted by the club and AJ Styles versus Kofi Kingston gets set up for later as the main event. And after that first segment, we have the first match that was advertised. It was Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. Now, Becky Lynch defeated Charlotte via disqualification. This was a known title match and the finish came when Dana broke into fear and got Charlotte disqualified. Natalia came out and made the save for Becky Lynch so ultimately both babyface got the last laugh. The Dudley boys defeated Goldos and R-Truth. Tyler Breeze and Fandango came out and caused a distraction that led to the finish and obviously the Dudley boys picking up the victory. The Ambrose and Sami Zayn defeated Kevin Owens and Alberto Del Rio. After the match, Owens set up a ladder up in the ring and he started to climb and grab the money in the bank briefcase. I wonder if that is foreshadowing of what it is that's gonna happen because after all most of the rumors are stating that Kevin Owens is the favorite one to win this year's Money in the Bank. We had Rusev defeating Jack Swagger in what was probably another squash match. Rusev beat down Swagger after the match until Titus O'Neil came out to make the save. Once again it looks like they're building for a Rusev versus Titus O'Neil match which I'm not necessarily too interested in it. And for the main event we had AJ Styles defeating Kofi Kingston. Style hit the Style Class to win this main event bout. During the finish, Luke Gallows and Kara Anderson brawled against Big E and Xavier at ringside. The club ultimately getting the last laugh. And finally, all I have to say is that I think the WWE is now doing something with the club that they should have been doing, obviously, whenever it was that they debuted it. Like now, after being buried basically by Roman Reigns, it is when they are actually dominating. But hey, you know what they say, better late than never. And although this is not an episode of WWE Top News Roundup, I do want to update you guys when it comes to SmackDown and obviously the decision of why it is that they're doing the brand split and also why SmackDown's going live. But I just want to end it with this and I want to let you guys know that KCIC is reporting that the move to Tuesdays was a response to USA being unhappy with SmackDown's rating. This is stated by the, the Wrestling Observer and WWE is planning to make the show equal to Raw after July 19th to help address the problem so there you guys have it just a quick update on smackdown and another reason why it is that, that the brand split is happening but anyways guys that is your smackdown result for this week if you guys want to keep updated to all the other wwe news and rumors and spoilers just subscribe to my channel so you don't miss none of that all throughout the week i also do wwe 2k17 i did a breakdown video of the actual trailer that was released during monday night raw so check that out if you guys are interested in the meantime we in the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. Much to you. Dig it.